My plan was to complete this oil painting in one sitting, 90 minutes, maybe 2 hours, thunderstorm pace. The reality? This is day 4 that I've come back again to work on it. Finally it's finished, and I'm happy to report that I have realized a very important thing during the creation of this painting. Let me sum it up in one word. Focus. By focus I don't mean concentration. I mean creating a center of attention in your picture. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Back to the beginning. You can see that I start off with a blue canvas. That's because I had intended to use this canvas for a different project and I had already put down a base layer in acrylics. But then I lost interest in that idea and when I wanted to start to work on this painting that you are seeing now, I had the perfectly sized and already prepped blue canvas at hand. In my experience, and also from what I've heard from others, you can paint with oils over an acrylic base layer with no problem. However, you cannot do the opposite and paint with acrylics over oils. My painting this time was inspired by the landscapes of the Lofoten Islands, Norway, where I visited last year. I have wanted to do a series of Norway landscape paintings ever since. I hadn't gotten around to doing that before the end of last winter, and I was never in the mood to paint wild rainy lands during the beautiful spring and summer days. But now that it's autumn again, this is the perfect time for me to work on something like this. Does this happen to you as well? Does the weather ever affect the kind of artwork that you feel like doing? If you are wondering, I am not using one single photograph as reference for this painting. I took several hours of film footage during our trip to Norway, and I gathered some screenshots that I liked and kind of made a collage in my mind. I hope that explanation makes sense. I created quite an entertaining task for myself in the case of this piece. I need to paint three different kinds of textures for the three substances that make up the picture. The soft, heavy, wet-looking rain clouds, the hard rocks of the mountains, and the cold, clear water. You could say that the stars of this painting are the mountains, of course they have the biggest presence. But what excites me the most are the clouds that are shrouding the peaks. And here's a contradiction. It's the water surface that takes up the biggest portion of the painting, and yet I want the water to be the least significant thing here. So the challenge I am facing is this. How do I direct the attention to the things that I like the most in the picture? It's the end of day three. I declare this painting finished. I really want to move on, but rather than being satisfied, I feel like I'm just running away. Something is not right. It's too dark, too dull. After a full day long break, I finally know what I need to adjust to turn this disappointment of a painting around. I have been working on this for three days, concentrating on nothing else but creating the three different textures of clouds, rocks and water. But I ended up with a result where nothing in the picture looked more important than the rest. I wish I could explain with the painting how mythical and magical it feels to me when I see clouds rolling over a mountain. To get you to look at the clouds like I look at them, I need to emphasize the top part. The mountains need more detail, more texture and more of some lighter colors. I also need to turn up the contrast between the dark peaks and rain clouds against the lighter layer of clouds in the background, so I add more white there. And as a final touch, I add some sparkling to the water, but only around the center of the picture and the bottom of the mountains. As we get farther away from the center and closer to the edges, the water has less and less detail and contrast, so it's not really worth looking at for too long. My eyes keep returning to the top of the image, where there is more detail and sharper contrast. We have reached the end of day 4 and the painting is finally complete. I hope you have enjoyed watching this time lapse and it would be great if it sparked some inspiration for you to go and paint something. Thanks a lot for joining me today and I will see you next time. Bye bye!